Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 23, the show Red Sox franchise. When finally we have moved on to a new series, a uh, different series again. I felt like we've been playing against the Rays and the Angels for a very long time. I felt like every time when I try to record a gameplay, it's always the same team. <laughs> And I felt like I've been playing the uh, playing against the Angels for more than 10 times already. It feels like that way, but again, uh, it's because of my la lack of upload on this series. It makes me to have that feeling. So again, a new series right here. I believe it is a three-game series against the Twins today. Again, uh, we have Bale uh, pitching for the Red Sox today. Again, uh, quite a 1-2-3 inning, even though uh, the runner decided to go for uh, second base right there after a hit but it was nowhere to be closed and Pablo, uh, Pablo Lopez is going to pitch for the Twins right here one two three inning for him Justin Turner with the ground out to uh, Correa again I don't really like that play at all to be honest after the uh, the scandal going on the Houston scandal the cheating scandal going on um, I, I mean and also the way how he tried to respond it was quite unprofessional and honestly I, I i'm sure a lot of you guys probably hate the astros but in terms of which player that you hate the most from the astros back in 2017 it's pretty much it's pretty much uh uh carlos correa i mean there's no other players as well i mean you can talk about uh uh, jo uh altuve jose altuve again uh i mean he has a very funny incident, not taking off his shirt, knowing that there might be a buzzer on his arm. And Alex Berkman as well. I'm sure some uh, other players are quite responsible for that. But honestly, uh, Carrero is pretty much the face of that Houston Astro team back in 2017. And he made a lot of talks, to be honest. It felt like he is not, you know, be, he, I, I don't felt like I don't feel like he is being quite responsible with the statement, with his with his response. But going back to the gameplay again, it seems to be a back and forth, uh, back and forth innings for both pitchers again. Uh, both pitchers has been quite phenomenal through three innings. Uh, we only allow one hit, uh, respectively. Later on, a one-two-three inning for Bale once again. Oh, one count to Yoshida again. I still haven't quite, you know, understand this player. Understand the stride of this player again. I'm, I'm still trying my best to understand. You know each player hitting style i certainly can get that same as adam duvall again every time when i use adam duvall uh there's always 1k in him per game at least or even more than that last game i believe he struck out four times and i just couldn't understand his swing at all his timing his stride same as bobby dahlbeck to be honest i felt like you know what bobby dahlbeck it's that type of player in the game where you will understand his stride you will understand his approach and his swing but then in reality, uh, it's a completely different story. But here comes Bayo once again, a uh, young pitcher. I certainly do enjoy uh, do enjoy using him and also in real life as well. I think he's a very talented uh, pitcher for the Red Sox. And right here, another 1-2-3 inning again. I think this gameplay seems to be quite fast at the moment. I mean, 3-up, three 3 down for multiple innings. And here comes Christian Arroyo. Popped up to first base with a man on third. Two out, somehow couldn't plate one in again it's just quite frustrating at times where offensively you're not getting anything going kyle farmers went down swinging bayo i believe that would be his 6k for uh for the game 7k right here carlos correa good job sit down go back to the dugout don't like him 0-2 count to byron buxton and he is gonna hit a tapper to bobby dahlback who's replacing devers at third today uh just for a quick defensive change for tonight's game 0-2 count Yoshida, check swing, but it was a dead giveaway strike inside the corner for the second out. And Tristan Cassis is going to hit a ground ball to second base right there. Another 1-2-3 inning for the Twins pitcher. And uh, yeah, it seems to be a long game, and it's going to be if you know none of the pitchers or none, none of the uh, players decide to score any runs. But right here, this is where I call it a stop for Bayo again. He's pretty tired, giving up that base hit, and Ryan Brisher coming on right here to kind of, uh, you know, try and try to t still uh, keep this lead or keep this whatever score line remain. And right here, after walking the first batter, you know, getting Joey Gallo out with the high fly ball to right center field, but Rob 
Ruff Snyder is right there to make a fantastic run and catch. We're moving on to the bottom of the eighth right here. We just need an answer. We just need somebody on base, somebody. We just need one long ball to uh, to make a difference, but we just can't even do that. Bobby Dalbert went down swinging. 1-1 one, one count. Hernandez hits the line drive to left field, and it is going to be off the wall right there for a base hit. Again, it's a long single. I felt like in real life, a lot of players would have gone for second base, but that would be the end for Pablo uh, Lopez and here comes Jorge Al Alcali right here Alcali Alcala or something like that 1-1 one, one count for Dugo is going to hit a tap with the first base again uh, they're frustrating as well just couldn't get anything going offensively and every time when we have runners in scoring position we just can't do a damn thing 2-2 two, two count Correa went down swing for the second time today Ryan Brasher with another 1-2-3 inning and here comes Justin Turner 2-2 two, two count with one out and he's going to go down swinging drop third strike and the catcher's going to throw Justin Turner out with ease for the second out and it looks like we're not going to score any runs right here 2-2 two, two count Tristan Cass is going to hit a uh, ground ball to Correa I don't know why he is not going for the force out but that would be the end for the regular innings and just in time uh, when we're going to uh, the top of the 10th, the umpire decided to call for a rain delay. Again, it's, it's you know just a pain in the ass, to be honest. When there's a rain delay and you still somehow couldn't get any runs. 0-2 count by Buxton. Went down swing. Check swing right there uh, for the first out. And 1-2 count. Polanco went down looking for slider inside. Good pitch by uh, Kenley Jansen. And 0-1 count to Miranda. And he is going to hit a line drive to center field right there to Rob Ruff Snyder. Unfortunately, one run's going to score from that play. And we're down by one. Nothing at the top of the 10th. And right now, here comes Joanne. Duran's going to come on right here. Looking for a safe opportunity. Looking for his six saves of the season. 2-2 two, two count. Bobby Dahlback went down swing. I believe that'll be his third time. He should be upset at himself again. He has to make contact with the ball when, you know, when a man on second. And here comes Adam Duvall for a pinch hit. Bat in 164. And here comes a high fly ball to left field. Does it get, does it have enough? Oh, it does not. But guess what? One runner is going to come in. And here comes Kike. I have no clue how he is out at home. I'm sorry. But in real life, I am guarantee you in real life, Kike would have been home safe. You know, standing, you know, he'll be standing at home plate safe. Have no clue how it happened. Again, the game made the speed of the players very unrealistic. Well, this part is quite unrealistic too. Even though Joey Gallo couldn't quite, uh, couldn't quite, you know, break the bat right there. Uh, he tried so many times. Um, he just didn't, didn't do it. Owen count, Kyle Farmer hits a uh, ground ball to second base Dahlbeck has been shifted to second base right there again I, I believe Devers come on uh, right there and here comes 1-0 count and I've decided uh, to stop the runner again this is an important inning right now we have a upper hand right here no outs with a man of first and third and here comes Devers hits a ground ball what the hell is going on I don't understand I don't understand what's going on with the team we just couldn't catch a break 3-2 count, man on first and third. What was I doing? Why was I think swinging at that pitch? Another double play, potential double play. We could have won the game a long time ago or an inning ago or even in that inning. Why are we doing ourselves like that? 0-2 count, Carlos Correa hits a ground ball through the gap for a base hit. And the runner's going to score all the way from second base. A poor throw, but for Dugo... Uh, the Twins got on, uh, got one run on top, and later on, Tanner Hout, despite coming on, again, he is pretty much a reliever for me. Just didn't really do a damn thing in this game. 4-1, a two-run home run for Byron Buxton, and we are in turmoil right now. It's just, uh, just quite sucks, to be honest, at this point. Again, rain delay, not being able to score any runs and runner in scoring position. It just kills you. 2-2 two -two count. Christian Vasquez, former Red Sox player, went down swaying, doing us a mercy right there. Thank God. 3-0 count. Here comes Yoshida, and he's going to hit a ground ball. Had no clue why he swung at that pitch, but certainly worked. And Cassis is going to score all the way from second base. And, well, it's not it's not Cassis. It's actually uh, Justin Turner. Oh, well, nothing seems to go on our way, isn't it? 3-2 count, men on first and second. Here comes Bobby Dahlbeck, hits a high fly ball. Line drive to right center field to a gap. 
and it is going to be fall for a base hit and two runs are going to score it is going to be RBI triple for Bobby Dahlbach he comes in clutch despite getting three case in that game but you know what everybody can forgive him for that with one now uh, with a man on third we have a big chance to tie this game at least we just need to score that run and later on here comes Kike high fly ball to left field and it is going to be a home run a 3-1 rock off home run for Kike Hernandez finally ending our misery again this is this is not a good game to play to be honest it's just um, unnecessary uh, well unnecessary uh, base running at times where we should have done better uh, and also the speed it's not quite reflecting on the players real capability ability but guess what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how the process is. It's all about the result. It's all about the uh, it's all about the achievement. And today we won that game with a three run home run, at least in such a dual game like that, in such a horrible game like this, you know, there's something to cheer about. In a rain especially, but look at the high fly ball to left field. Not quite of a no doubter yet, but certainly it was well enough for a for a win so there you go guys we take game one of this uh, of this four game or of this three game series but look at the score line we win 6-4 of course but we scored five runs in the end holy play of the game Kike Hernandez and honestly despite every year I trade uh, trade Kike away uh, for another player, I don't think I'll be trading him away in another uh, in, in this series. I don't think I'll see myself doing that. I know there are certain players in the team where I don't quite like, to be honest. But I felt like you know, if I trade them away every year, then there's not a little, there, there there there's not going to be any excitement, any freshness in the team anymore. So I've decided to keep him, regardless of what's going to happen in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.